डेयर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई हैव अ टॉपिक ऑन अरेथमेटिक मीन इन केस ऑफ डिस्क्रीट सीरीज एज इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव वर्न अबाउट अर्थमेटिक मीन इन केस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सीरीज एंड देयर वी हैव अप्लाइड टू मेथड्स शॉर्टकट मेथड एंड डायरेक्ट मेथड and the same two methods having different formula is applied in discrete series also also as you know that discrete series certain values of a variable is given along with a given frequency at first we will apply direct method pehle hum seekhenge direct method and it is formula is x bar is equal to sigma f x that is value of frequency multiplied by value of variable divided by number of observation number of items in a given series which is equal to sigma f that is summation of frequencies here the number of observation is equal to sigma f therefore you may find in some books that formula is written as sigma f x divided by n where n means sigma f or you may also find the formula written in this form sigma f x divided by sigma f all these are correct but you have to remember that if it is written as n you have to consider it is equal to sigma f where x bar is arithmetic mean and this is sigma as i have already told you in my previous lecture this mean is summation or we can say adding up summation and f is frequency that is number of times a value of particular variable repeats in a given series and when they are added together we will get sigma f हमें उनको ऐड करना है फ्रीक्वेंसीज को एंड एक्स इट इज अ वेरिएबल हैविंग डिफरेंट वैल्यूज now we will take some example to apply this method on that suppose that data given is marcus in subject english of class 11th and the mark is given or suppose out of 50 it is given as 5 10 15 and 20 and number of student is given is students 
they are supposed to be 2 4 5 2 now this is a discrete series and we have to calculate arithmetic mean using direct method pehle hum direct method seekhenge jiska formula ye hai now the solution will be iska jo solution hai wo ye hai first column mein hum lenge marks in english and this will be denoted by x x variable show different values of marks and in this column we will write number of students which is also known as frequency and it will be denoted by f and in the last column we have to calculate we have to obtain sigma fx therefore we have to multiply this x variable value of x variable with the given frequency f into x now the data given is mark is there are 5 10 15 and 20 marks and number of students who have got these different marks in subject english is there are two students who have got marks equal to 5 and four students have got 10 marks five students are there who have got marks equal to 15 and those who have got marks equal to 20 they are two students and it will be equal to f into x 5 into 2 is 10 40 75 and it will be equal to 40 and that is sigma f that's adding up of these frequencies summation of f values it will be equal to 13 and sigma f i guess it will be equal to five one hundred sixty five now applying this formula x bar is equal to sigma f x divided by sigma f x bar is equal to sigma f x divided by n where n is equal to sigma f it will be equal to 165 divided by 13 and doing it on calculator we will get the value equal to it will be equal to 12.69 marks since the variable is Marcus, it means 12.69 Marcus. That is average Marcus of these 30 students is equal to 12.69 Marcus. Hope you have got it. You can do any example using this method. I take different variable with different values such as income, wage, with different values
Now we will apply one more method that is shortcut method to calculate arithmetic mean in case of this series. इसके लिए हम इसमें एक और कॉलम ऐड कर सकते हैं दो कॉलम्स या हम सेपरेट भी दिखा सकते हैं वो लेट एस वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ सेपरेट टेबल फॉर शॉर्टकट मेथड अब हम सीखेंगे शॉर्टकट मेथड फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ अर्थमेटिक मीन इन डिस्क्रीट सीरीज इन शॉर्टकट मेथड द फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग Arithmetic mean in case of discrete series is given as x bar equal to that is arithmetic mean. It is calculated with the help of the formula a that is axiomatic mean plus summation of f d x divided by n is equal to summation of f. I use both these terms n as well as sigma f because in some books you may find that they have written only n so that it may make it clear I use along with this symbol sigma f that is summation of frequencies. You may also find that in some books, some authors write this formula in this form a plus summation of f d divided by n or sigma f. This f d and f d x it means same means divided value of the x variable which have taken actual values and these values are taken in divided form by using the formula that is equal to x minus a. I will write these symbols here. a is assumed mean assumed mean and f as you know it is a frequency and dx mean deviation deviated values it is equal to x minus a we take different values of variable x and that is subtracted by assumed mean we will get d or dx now if we will take the same data which we have taken in case of direct method now by applying shortcut method for the same data, we will get the same result which we have got by applying direct method. Hamis same result yahan bhi milega. Agar hamari paas data same hoga, aur jo hamara result direct method me hoga, wahi result hume milega in case of shortcut method. Because data is same, methods are different. Result should be same. Now we will take those same values, same variable. Both are Marcus in subject English of class 11th and the Marcus wire 5, 10, 15 and 20 and number of students, number of students who have obtained these different Marcus, they were 2, 4, Five and two. This is the data. Now we have to apply shortcut method. This method. 
नाउ द सोल्यूशन विल बी इसका जो सोल्यूशन है वो इस तरह से होगा इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम वी विल टेक वेरिएबल वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल दैट इज मार्कस इट विल बी डिनोटेड बाय एक्स एंड सेकंड कॉलम नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंटस विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस वेरिएबल दैट इज मार्कस एंड दैट इज डिनोटेड बाय दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इज डिनोटेड बाय समॉल एफ and in the next column we have to obtain the value of d or we can say dx d or dx minus the same and it is equal to x minus a and in the last column we have to calculate f dx f dx that is value of frequency multiplied by the value of dx that is deviated value deviation mark is given is the mark is given or 5 10 15 and 20 and number of student that is frequency of the variable mark is that is 2 4 5 and 2 at sigma f that is summation of frequency adding up of frequency it is equal to 13 and dx which is equal to which is obtained with the help of taking the value of variable that is x minus value of assumed mean as i have told you that assumed mean it is assumed mean mean is you can take any value out of these x values you may take 5 10 15 20 20 or you can take any other value which is not included in these values is zaruri nahi hai ki hum assumed mean any value se le sakte hain hum koi aur value bhi le sakte hain on the basis of convenience lekin for you are clear understanding so that you may not confuse i will take assumed mean the value of a out of these x values out of these values of variable denoted by x suppose i will take it equal to 10 this is assumed mean therefore a is equal to 10 and the values of variable x which is marcus in english in our example इसके जो वैल्यूज है वो है फाइव टेन फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी और जो हमने एजमेंट भी लिया है उसका जो वैल्यू है वो है टेन माइनस वैल्यू ऑफ एजमेंट मीन माइनस टेन माइनस टेन माइनस टेन एंड माइनस टेन और इसका जो रिजल्ट है इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव जीरो Five ten. Next column is value of dx is multiplied by given frequency. That is two into minus five. It will be equal to minus ten. Four into zero. It will be equal to zero. Five into five. It is equal to twenty five. 2 into 10 it will be equal to 20 and sigma f d x will be equal to 45 minus 10 it will be equal to 35 now applying the formula x bar equal to assumed mean plus sigma f d x divided by number of observation or sigma f that is summation of frequencies adding up of frequencies x bar arithmetic mean it will be equal to a that is assumed mean 
plus sigma F D X or we can write sigma F D divide by total observations or sigma F that is summation of frequencies adding up of frequencies it will be equal to A is equal to 10 at sigma F D X which is equal to 35 divided by the frequency total number of students that is the frequency of the variable marks is equal to 13 is called your value have 13 and x bar it will be equal to 10 plus 35 by 13 it will be equal to it will be equal to 2.69 x bar it will be equal to 10 plus 2.69 it will be equal to 2.69 and this 12.69 it is Marcus that we will write 12.69 Marcus that is the it means it can be interpreted it's called interpret care sector the average Marcus 30 students ka wo hai 12.69 and look the beauty of this calculation these two methods when they are applied on the same data the result will be same we have direct method apply kiya, data same liya tha. On pe jo result tha, wo tha 12.69 marks jo automatic mean tha, average marks tha. Aur pe humne shortcut method apply kiya hai. और जो डेटा हमने लिया है वो सेम लिया है और यहां भी जो रिजल्ट आया है वो भी आया 12.69 मार्क्स बिकॉज़ द डेटा इज सेम मेथड्स आर डिफरेंट द डेस्टिनेशन इज सेम द वेज आर डिफरेंट देयरफॉर रिजल्ट विल बी सेम एंड इट शुड बी सेम एंड आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट एंड नाउ यू कैन डू मेनी मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑन डिस्क्रीट सीरीज by applying both shortcut method as well as direct method and the variable you will take such as income of persons, wage rate of workers or you may take age of different persons, weight of different persons and many more variables and you will take different values not these values but different values and different frequencies and you will be able to answer any problem whenever it is asked in our examination in any examination whether it is the 11th class examination or any other competitive examination thank us